this video will cover what to do in case of an emergency, what you should have in your emergency kit and first aid kit for your beardie. You're sitting at home watching TV, minding your own business, petting your beardie, when all of a sudden... You have to evacuate. You run to your closet, open the door. <laughs> Thankfully, you've already packed everything you need for your beardy. Now, if you haven't, you're going to be in trouble. So first, let's go over everything you will need for your beardy's first aid kit. For your first item, it's always good to have a couple different syringes in your first aid kit to give all the medications that will be provided inside. The next item will be feeding tongs and also tweezers. There will be several different reasons that you will need to use these along the way. The next item is chlorhexidine. This is a disinfectant and an antiseptic. Topical use only. The next item is Reptaboost. This gives your beauty fluid support and energy. The next item you will need to have is activated charcoal. This is good to have anytime your beauty eats a poisonous insect. The next item that's good to have is colloidal silver betadine. It has antibacterial, antiseptic, antibiotic, antiparasitic properties, and it fights off infections. The next item we have for your first aid kit is Panicure. This is a dewormer. The next item is bee pollen. This will stimulate their appetite and has all kinds of great properties. This is Beanbag Plus. This has all of your good probiotic properties. It's always great to have a good eye rinse in your first aid kit in case your beardy gets something in their eye. Of course you'll want to have betadine in your first aid kit to clean any wounds that your beardy may get along the way. F10 is always great to have. It's for cleaning your beardy's enclosure, the things that you may have inside the enclosure, it really is a great vet grade disinfectant. Antiprotozole is for parasites and bacterial infections. Serapeptase has enzymes that helps healing that is found in silkworms. This reduces pain and inflammation. Tetrazoral cosit I'm sorry, I cannot pronounce this at all, but it's great for cassidia. Psyllium powder is amazing for diarrhea, constipation, and impaction. It's good for blood sugar, blood pressure, and cholesterol. Paldearco bark is great for bacteria, some viruses, inflammation. It has antimicrobial, anti-candida, and reduces nausea, vomiting, and dizziness. It's great to have a nebulizer in your first aid kit, for instance, to use the colloidal silver with. Moringa powder has antiviral, anti-tumor, anti-cancer properties, and it's rich in proteins, vitamins, and minerals. Spirulina powder is an amazing anti-inflammatory, antioxidant. It's high in nutrients. It also has anti-cancer properties and has been known to help anemia. New Zealand Manuka honey or the healing honey is great for treating mouth rot. It also amplifies wound healing and regeneration of tissue. It decreases pain and inhibits bacterial growth. Now that's all the items I have as of right now for your first aid kit. I'm going to list some of our vendors on this clip for your first aid kit. Now let's start with your in case of an emergency beardy kit. 
It's great to have one of these large totes to put all of your supplies in. You'll also need a duffel bag, such as this one. When adding things to your tote box, first and foremost, you want to think lighting. Now you may think, how am I going to pack all of these lights? Especially if you have more than one theory. Well, I've come up with a couple different solutions for you. Now this is a mini T5 UVB light from Arcadia. It only puts out 8% UVB. But for an emergency, I think this would do great. Another option would be the Reptisun 10.0. Now, I ran across this Doyle light fixture that would be great for emergencies to hold your Red to Sun 10.0 and your heat light, which a sunbeam flood light works great for. Just make sure that you don't get LED form and it's cost efficient. Another option is the Mercury Vapor UVB and UVA bulb that would be good for heat and UVB. For this, you will need a heat lamp. I recommend the one with the guard on the bottom. That way, being in a tote, your beauty does not suffer any burns. Next, you'll want to think of feeders. And you'll want to think of a feeder that doesn't need any special care. For me, that feeder would be a super warm. It can live in various temperatures. It doesn't need to be refrigerated. doesn't need any special food. It can actually live without food for a while. This generator is a mini generator. It can run off your car. It can run off a solar panel. Or it can run off an outlet. So really, this was the best one that I found for an emergency situation. You'll need a thermometer and a hygrometer to, of course, still be able to tell the temperatures that your beardy is in while they are in the tote box. I would also have a heat gun or a thermometer gun on hand just as a precaution. You'll, of course, need a calcium and multivitamin with you. And with for this, I recommend Rapashi Calcium Plus and, uh, because it has everything it needs in one. Now I see it and I thought, and I thought, how would you keep a salad cold? How would you keep your veggies good? What if you couldn't get to the store? And the only thing I could come up with was Rapashi Beardy Buffet and Rapashi Grub Pie. I think this has a lot of nutrients and things that they would need. Just make sure you're giving them a little water also so that they stay dehydrated. Which brings me to the next thing that we'll need to go in, and that is bottled water. I also recommend a few escape-proof feeder bows. That way you don't have feeders crawling everywhere, and you have a place to put the rest of your food. I also recommend packing these small fleece blankets. They're usually around 5 to $6 a piece to wrap your beardy in, keep on the bottom of their tote. There's several things that you could use them for. It's always great to have your beardy leash and harness with you. I will leave a couple of our vendors below. I recommend baby wipes for your emergency kit as well as your first aid kit to clean up all different kinds of messes, especially the stinky ones. If you have multiple beardies, a few shoe boxes on hand never hurt to carry your smaller beardies in. For your bigger beardies, though... For your adult beardies, I would recommend the smallest tote box. Usually you can find the smallest I have found. It's about 12 inches high and about 18 inches long. The last item I have for you are foot warmers. Now these will be big enough for your beardy, but if you can't find the foot warmers, the hand warmers will suffice as well. Well guys, I hope you liked this video. Please check out our other videos. Give us a big thumbs up, hit the notification button, and turn on your bell icon so you'll be notified anytime we upload a video. Please join our group on Facebook, Bearded Dragon Buzz. We love you guys. Stay tuned.